Well, hello, everybody. Um, it's that time again for another talking video. So, I feel like I've made so many talking videos that I'm definitely forgetting a talking video playlist on my channel. Because I feel like I have a lot of them now. Um, so anyway, this topic, I am going to be talking about some of my favorite places to eat or places that I really want to try out that I've never had before. So let's get started. So one place that came to mind is a place for man versus food when uh, Adam Richman visited Austin, Texas. Um, at one point in that episode, he, he took a drive out to Driftwood, Texas, just outside of Austin. And he came across this place called the Salt Lake, which is a very popular barbecue restaurant in Driftwood. So they have all kinds of members of the barbecue kingdom. They've got ribs. They've got brisket. They've got... A turkey for or all all the non red meat lovers. They've got sausage. We'll just say they have a little bit of everything. And if you're someone who doesn't know what to order, they do have a family style platter, which consists of pretty much every meat on the menu, and it's mostly the red meat. Um, Comes with bread, and pickles, onions, beans, potato salad, and coleslaw. Um, so the way they make eat their stuff, they actually cook it on an open pit. And the owner uses the heaviest of oak wood, and also. He says that if if the fire gets too hot, they'll take a, a some wet pecan shells and throw it onto the wood to try and control all the temperature of the flame. But the other thing it does is it adds the pecan flavor to the meat. So oh, that's a pretty interesting way to do it. I definitely want to go oh, to the Salt Lake because I've never been to Austin, honestly. I've been to Texas before, but never Austin. Um, let's see. So the next place is a restaurant that's out here in Phoenix. Actually, they have multiple locations. I really enjoy going to this place a lot. It's called the Vig. So the Vig, it's like like are your neighborhood place. It's American style food. They have a good amount on of of food on their menu. They've got burgers. They got some really nice appetizers. Um, one of my favorite things you get there is their mac and cheese. It's a, a truffle mac. So it's some um, cavatappi pasta, a three cheese sauce, and, and seasoned breadcrumbs. Then you also have add-ons for the mac and cheese, like chicken or the roast pork that they have. I usually like doing the roast pork because who needs poultry? Um, they also have wings on the menu. They have um, buffalo, salt and vinegar, and, and sweet Thai chili. Sweet Thai chili is a pretty good one. But I'm more of a buffalo kind of guy. I've never done the salt and vinegar one because vinegar is kind of like my worst nightmare, aside from olives. Um, let's see. 
but the next place is uh, right across the street from where I work. So I work at the Fries downtown. Across the street is a place called the Arrogant Butcher. It's like American Bistro. So they've got some, some stuff on the menu. They have a, a beef short rib stew. It's got, it's got short rib in it, vegetables, and it's topped with a fried egg. It comes with a sour cornbread. But my favorite thing on their menu is their French dip. There's always something about French dips that uh, just you can't go wrong. I, I'm trying to think of other places that I've always wanted to try. Come on, think, 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 think. Oh, okay. Yeah, the next place is. A really nice uh, breakfast spot. Um, they have one close to where my parents live. It's called Butters. Mm. They have uh, they have a nice breakfast menu. Oh. Their breakfast it's almost just as good as, as Hash House at Go Go oh, oh, out in California. The only difference is Hash House and Go Go takes their breakfast food and supersize it. Butter just keeps it at normal size. Um, uh, the next place uh, is called Old. Barrio Queen. So, Barrio Queen is like good, authentic Mexican. The only one I know of is the location that's right by the waterfront in Scottsdale. It's just a step away from the mall. Man, I'm having such a hard time thinking. I know there's plenty of others. I just can't think of them at the top of my head. Ooh, the next place is right by one of my favorite uh, resorts. Ooh. Right by the Point Hilton Squaw Peak Resort in Phoenix is another Mexican restaurant. It's called Enchiladas. They got um, authentic Mexican food there. It's not as authentic as Barrio Queen, but I'd say it's close. So the next place is uh, cold beer and cheeseburgers. Mm -hmm. So that's like one of the best sports bars out here. You don't believe they actually he, he, they actually he built one in, at Chase Field in the same place where Friday's front row used to be. Now. It has been um, a while since I've been to Friday's Front Row. Well, the only reason I've never 
really been there that much just because I always hated uh, the smell that was in the uh, entrance. Because the restaurant was like upstairs and it required an elevator to get up there. I always hated the smell that, that, that was in that in that lobby. It was like a dusty warehouse, if you ask me. Um, my next favorite restaurant is Buffalo Wild Wings. Because it corresponds with one of my all-time favorite foods, chicken wings. For someone who, who enjoys chicken wings as much as I do, oh, Buffalo Wild Wings is heaven. They have so many different flavors to choose from. It's a good place for, for those who are chili heads. Because they have uh, of some, some hot stuff there. They have of their blazing sauce, which has Reaper in it. Like, like, what's next if they create something hotter earth than blazing? Is it like nine one one sauce? That sounds like something they, they could put uh, pepper X into. I feel like I totally ran out. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, all right, that's that's all I, I have. I can't think of any more. Sorry. Peace.